to The Hypnotist, the show that gives you inside access to cutting-edge hypnosis with real clients facing genuine issues. Brought to you by the hypnotherapist demanded by celebrities, CEOs, and even royalty, Adam Cox. These recordings took place live from Adam's Clinic in London's world-famous Harley Street. So, get yourself comfortable and enjoy today's episode of The Hypnotist. Hi, it's Adam here, and in this episode of The Hypnotist, you'll be listening to a hypnosis session uh, actually inspired by song lyrics. Now, I've done this about three or four different uh, times. It's certainly more challenging than using, let's say, a book or a movie as a framework or a metaphor, um, but there are certain songs that either the theme or the lyrics um, are quite profound or useful in some way to give a different perspective And that might be on a resourceful state or when it comes to mental health. And over this last weekend, there was a a song that I've heard on the radio numerous times. And as a hypnotherapist, some of the lyrics I thought are very useful as a, a backdrop, as a theme for a hypnosis session. And the, uh, the song is called bad life and it's by Sigrid and I think bring me the horizon. Um, Sigrid I'd heard of bring, bring me the horizon. I haven't heard of, Um, But I watched the video a couple of times on YouTube. I've heard the song on the radio a few times. And the lyrics um, are quite interesting in the sense that it it relates to reframing when bad things happen, when people feel depressed or don't feel in a good place, that it, it kind of compartmentalizes it and saying, right, well, this isn't a bad life. This is just a bad day. And I thought that's a really empowering Um, theme for those people that are struggling. And I know a lot of people that listen to my um, podcast, they've got more than one issue. You know, there's lots of things going on. And, you know, the nature, I think, of modern life and then a situation of different kind of stresses and hassles is that a lot of people are in a fairly dark place. So I thought taking the essence of what this song is all about and turning it into a hypnosis session could actually be quite useful in some way. So, um, I'm doing this live um, at the moment, so I can't really talk about what it is because I don't really know how it's going to be yet. Um, so all I would say is find a, a quiet place where you won't be disturbed, relax, and enjoy the session. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe in, breathe in a feeling of calm and relaxation, and as you exhale, just allow feelings of tension and worries to leave your body. Breathing in that calm, resourceful feeling, and if it's safe to do so, allow your eyelids to close as you get a growing sense that your body is starting to relax. As you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to get a sense that you're not alone. In some way, in some form, everyone's damaged, a little depressed. And sometimes it's felt in, in different locations in the body. Sometimes there in the chest. I want you to get a sense that every single person around has challenges that are unique to them. Sometimes it feels like you're just trying to get your head above water in a swimming pool of sharks. As you breathe in and breathe out, just accept that it's okay to feel however you're feeling. We're surrounded by messages of toxic positivity that you have to feel great all the time. You should always be smiling. Sometimes it's just even hard to get out of bed when everything's a mess. Sometimes things 
doesn't really seem to make any sense. It would be ridiculous to put a band-aid, a sticky plaster on a bleeding heart. Or try and fake a smile when everything is falling apart. And a lot of people have this tendency to try and put on a brave face, to look good out there in the real world. And people don't know that Sometimes things generally are a mess. There's problems, there's struggles. Things aren't always good. And you'll know. Because sometimes you'll feel it. Like the world is on your shoulders. Sometimes it's a heaviness there in your chest, in your heart. And as humans, we have the tendency to project how we feel in the moment, like the whole rest of our life is going to be that way. And maybe at some level, you're afraid that things will always be the way that they are now. But I want you to accept one single suggestion. That a bad day is not a bad life. Just imagine getting to the end of your life and rewinding everything so it happens backwards. You'd get a sense that a lot of the things that feel overwhelming in the moment were just tiny moments in a very big life. And you can remember all the way back things that felt unbearable, overwhelming, maybe three, four years ago, don't seem so bad now because time has gone. You have perspective. And perhaps in a strange way, it made you stronger, more powerful, wiser. Sometimes when things get really tough, we can feel like we're backed in a corner not just numb but uncomfortably numb sometimes we compromise on our own values it almost seems like we're watching ourselves become a shadow of of someone I want you to get a sense that Sometimes trying to find a place to hide isn't the ideal thing to do. Avoidance increases sensitivity to anxiety and sadness. So if you're running from what's inside, sometimes, sometimes the enemy becomes stronger. And sometimes we are our own worst enemy. Because it's those beliefs that aren't true, the fears that are unfounded, that almost feel like you're fighting shadows and you don't really want to fight anymore. Maybe it feels hopeless. Maybe you're close to the edge. And if you feel the weight on your shoulders, the heaviness in your heart, afraid that The future is going to be like the present. I want you to get a sense. Get a sense that a bad day is not a bad life. And you haven't had a single day yet that has defeated you. So when you think about that fight, you versus your bad days... You've won every single one of them. Because as long as you wake up the next day, you'll wake up wiser, more resilient, tougher than the day before. Meaning day by day, you're better equipped to deal with the challenges that you've had before. Each and every day, you're more resourceful than the version of you previously. 
And that's why that a bad day can't be a bad life because you're more experienced. You're more resilient. You have access to knowledge and information that you didn't have before. And therefore, as bad as it gets, it can't be hopeless. There is always, always hope. Always the possibility that good things can come from bad things. And no matter how close to the edge you are, things won't always be this way. Very soon, I will count from one to ten to awaken you, and you will awaken feeling that the glimmer of hope is slightly brighter. You will awaken with more optimism than you had before, and you will awaken with a belief that a bad day does not mean a bad life. Starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.